My name is Lisa Canole from the Limerick Institute of Technology and today we are going to be learning about hematopoietic stem cells. You might have heard about stem cells in school or even on the news and you might have wondered if they could help you or someone you know who's been affected by an injury or an illness. You may have wondered what stem cells are where they come from and how they're being used to treat disease and injury and why they're the subject of such vigorous debate. Well, today our objectives are to learn about what hematopoietic stem cells are, where in the body they're found, why we need them and importantly how they can be used to benefit us. But first we must understand the basics of stem cells. So let's get started. A stem cell is essentially the building block of the human body. They are the body's raw materials, like a template from which all other cells are created. Stem cells have two remarkable abilities. One, they can divide for long periods of time to replace and repair old cells. And two, they are unspecialized, but they have the ability to become many different types of cells. The earliest stem cells are found in the embryo and these will eventually give rise to every cell, tissue and organ in the human body. Unlike a regular cell, which can only replicate to create more of its own kind of cell, a stem cell is pluripotent. This means that when it divides, it can become any one of the 220 types of cells found in the human body. No other cell in the body has the natural ability to generate new cell types. Researchers believe that stem cell based therapies may one day be used to treat devastating diseases like paralysis and Alzheimer's disease. So why is there such interest in stem cells? By understanding how stem cells become other cells and tissues like bone, heart muscle and nerves, we can better understand how certain diseases and conditions occur, such as certain types of cancer. Stem cells have a number of research and medical applications and a few of these are 1. Stem cells are used to test new drugs. 2. Stem cells can be used in regenerative med medicine to regenerate and repair diseased or damaged tissues in patients. But perhaps their most important potential application is for cell-based therapies. The demand for transplant tissues and organs is far greater than the supply. Stem cells offer the possibility of a renewable source of cells and tissues to treat diseases such as macular degeneration, spinal cord injury, strokes, burns, heart disease, diabetes and arthritis. Now there are three main types of stem cells. The first one is embryonic stem cells. The earliest stem cells found in the human body are those found in the embryo. They can divide indefinitely and can become any type of cell in the body. The second type are adult stem cells. And these cells come from tissues like the brain, skin and bone marrow. Adult stem cells are multipotent, which means they can only become a few types of cells and cannot grow indefinitely. For example, a stem cell taken from the liver will only generate more liver cells. And the third type are induced pluripotent stem cells. These are adult stem cells that have been grown in a lab to behave like embryonic stem cells and they are used for research. You can think of adult stem cells as our built-in repair kits, regenerating cells damaged by disease, injury and everyday wear and tear. These undifferentiated cells which are found among regular cells, divide and become specialised to repair or replace 
the surrounding cells. A common example of an adult stem cell is hematopoietic stem cells. These are found in the bone marrow of adults, particularly in the femur, pelvis and sternum. Hematopoietic stem cells are also found in umbilical cord blood and in peripheral or surrounding blood. Now, adult stem cells are very rare, with an estimated 1 in 10 to 15,000 cells in the bone marrow being a hematopoietic stem cell. They can self-renew, move out of the bone marrow into the surrounding blood and can differentiate into a small number of specialised cells. So why do we need hematopoietic stem cells? Hematopoietic stem cells are responsible for a process called hematopoiesis. This is blood cell production that occurs continuously during the life of an organism. Blood contains different types of cells, such as red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets, each having a specific function. Because these cells can only live for a few days or weeks, they need to be constantly replaced. Each hematopoietic stem cell is programmed to produce all components of our blood. What are the clinical uses of hematopoietic stem cells? A small number of hematopoietic stem cells can divide to generate a very large number of daughter cells. This phenomenon is used in bone marrow transplant. Adult stem cells can be harvested to treat a number of diseases. Blood stem cells used to be taken from the bone marrow in a very painful and invasive process. However, nowadays, it is possible to filter stem cells directly out of the blood. Hematopoietic stem cells are used in the treatment of certain cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. They can also be used to treat inherited blood disorders such as sickle cell anemia. And hematopoietic stem cell rescue therapy is a treatment given to help chemotherapy patients. In conclusion, we have learned about the different types of stem cells, where they come from and what their functions are in the body. Embryonic stem cells are the beginning of new life. Adult stem cells are used to repair or replace worn out or damaged cells. And scientists use lab-grown stem cells for research on drugs and diseases. Specifically, we have learned about hematopoietic stem cells. These are found in the bone marrow and peripheral bloods of adults. These multipotent cells are responsible for replenishing the different blood cells in our bodies. These cells have a number of human applications. They can be used to treat genetic disorders, blood disorders, cancers, and organ and muscular degeneration. Thank you for listening, and if you would like more information, please visit the CLIL website.